During this session, we're going to be covering NetSuite's lead to quote process, which includes managing your leads and generating quotes for your prospects. The leading practice in NetSuite starts with defining our sales strategy to include defining the reports and metrics that we'll use to track and evaluate success, establishing quotas for sales reps and sales teams, and how to best incorporate our marketing campaigns to get maximum quality leads into the top of our funnel. From there, NetSuite allows us to set up lead routing rules to automatically assign leads as they're coming in and notify sales reps so they can immediately follow up while it's still a hot lead. Then, once uh, the lead has been qualified, it'll transition into a prospect record from which I can generate specific opportunities or move that prospect through pipeline statuses until I reach the quoting process. Once I've generated and sent the quote, I'm gonna transition into uh, the order to cash process, which is gonna be our next topic. So this is for new business, new customers, a uh, little bit different for existing customers. So for them, once they buy, those prospect records will be converted into customer records, bringing all the information collected throughout the process with them. And then from there, I can generate opportunities, quotes, uh, or even orders for that customer as they continue to do business with me. Concurrently, my sales teams will be managing their forecasts, which along with a ton of pre-configured pipeline and sales reporting is going to allow me to analyze performance in real time and ensure that we're staying on top of our KPIs and sales targets. So I'm currently logged into NetSuite in a uh, sales rep role. And this dashboard comes pre-configured and leverages leading practices built out from across thousands of companies. It includes reminders, uh, shortcuts, and, and KPIs that are necessary for me to do my job. Here, I have KPIs that um, cover everything from uh, quotes, sales, and opportunities to, to new leads and new customers. So my dashboard is going to provide that real-time visibility into these critical sales activities, and it's going to also give me these reminders uh, so that I can, I, I can see the things I need to focus on. So I can see that I have calls and tasks to complete, open opportunities and leads and prospects without sales activity, um, and I can click an action directly on those. Now, there are several ways to enter data into NetSuite. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use just the, the navigation to enter in a new lead, although these leads can be entered in uh, via import or even registered by a prospect through an online form on your website. Leads can be created for individuals or uh, for B, in my case, for B2B. So I'll go ahead and input the company name there. Um, and then I can also choose my status. There's two out of the box. Uh, Go ahead and save this. <clears throat> Choose my subsidiary. I can also capture um, information like email, uh, phone. Um, we see, you know, sales rep is there. Uh, I can input the industry, number of employees, annual revenue, uh, all these things that are great to capture for my metrics, but not necessary just to create the lead record. Now, when I scroll down to my sub tabs at the bottom, uh, I can access a number of details. I can add multiple contacts um, to, to under my relationships tab. I can, in my communications tab, add phone calls, uh, tasks, events for follow-up, along with attaching any documents in the file sub tab. In my sales sub tab, I can track uh, lead qualification analytics. And then once my lead has been qualified, I can apply multiple prospect stages um, to that, to this prospect, to this lead. And that's gonna give me visibility into my sales pipeline. So we'll go ahead and um, push this into the proposal stage. <clears throat> when I do this, my record is going to change uh, from, from lead. Now, I'm, now we have a prospect. And you can see that my probability to close has gone up. That's used to weight my pipeline forecast. I can now create a number of transactions directly from this lead um, 
including a quote. So we'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and uh, create a quote for Jones Fabrication. Now notice that the company, um, the prospect, and then also the sales rep has pulled through. So I can look and see I'm, I'm assigned, Bert's assigned, <clears throat> um, along with the status. Now I can come in and add items to the quote. So we'll go ahead and enter our filtration system. Um, at this point, I can see how many we have currently available across our locations. And it'll actually give me a pop-up warning if uh, we're back ordered along with available the promise data so I can go ahead and set expectations with my customer. It's gonna default to that base price level, pull in the rate from my item record. Um, I can override that if I need to. And then I'll also, when I save this, be able to see some, some profitability estimates. In my shipping tab, I can select from all sorts of different shipping methods. Um, FedEx, UPS, USPS are all part of the, the native integrated shipping, or um, I can have a default to a method of my choice if I want to. Now I can save an email, my estimate out to my prospect. I'll just go ahead and save it for now. <clears throat> And now we have an open quote with that expiration date on it. From here, I can create a sales order, a cash sale, uh, or an invoice transaction, all just with a click of the button. So out of the box, NetSuite is going to provide a lot of pre-configured functionality, including dashboards um, and reminders. Here is a list of all the different uh, all the different lead and sales reports that come out of the box. We have sales by item, customer, rep, promotion, gross profit and pipeline analysis, all by those same dimensions. Quotes, sales and opportunity activity, um, forecast reporting, including versus quota for myself and my team. Everything I need to be successful, efficient, increase my sales, increase revenue and increase my customer base.